Hi, and welcome to this review of the new DMG Dash Compact Light. Now, before we get into the light, let's look at a bit of the tech. As we all know, Roscoe Labs is well established in our industry as an expert in colour, with its lighting filters, dichroic glass filters, lighting effects equipment and backdrops for film and TV. In 2017, Roscoe bought French company DMG Lumiere, a specialist in LED lighting and with it, Mix technology. Now, Mix technology blends together six different LED colours, red, lime, green, blue, amber and white. And this enables a wider gamut of colours to be generated than either RGBW or RGBA methods. These blends form the basis of the Mix colour library, with each colour authenticated by Roscoe's colour experts as a match on tungsten and daylight sources, by eye, by metre and by camera. Now, this technology has been available on the company's larger fixtures for a while, but now it's available in an affordable, compact light. So let's dive in. This light is remarkably compact at around five by three by one inches and is really solidly built from aluminium alloy. It's also weatherproof. You get the feeling it would stand up to plenty of use on set. It has a built-in battery chargeable via USB and Roscoe say that it's good for around three hours at 100% intensity, although I didn't actually test this. For the techies, Roscoe say that its CRI rating is more than 95 and TLCI is more than 90, whilst using its boost feature delivers 380 lux at one meter. There are multiple mounting points and both a light stand mount and a magnetic mount are supplied as part of the single kit. The kit also comes in a nice case with a range of accessories including a flat diffuser, a gel holder, an egg crate and a dome diffuser, whilst a silicon half globe diffuser is also available. All these accessories attach to the light magnetically, so they're easy to mount and remove. So, first impressions are positive, but what's it like to use? Well, using the panel on the back, everything can be controlled, didn't have a big problem with that. But uh, the real power of this for me was I downloaded the iOS app and loaded it up. And the big benefit of that, of course, is you can adjust the lighting whilst being behind the camera. Let's take a look. First thing you see when you go into the app is a list of all the lights that are ready. So this is the app that would allow you to connect to lots of the mix range of lights. As you can see, we've just got one, the dash. So let's click on that and we're connected. So immediately you can see then it says the, the, the light at the bottom. So along the top, you've got the different modes of the light, white, gel, colors, effects, source match. So let's start at the beginning with white. You can see that's immediately, you can change the color temperature here just by clicking on it. And at the moment it's 1700 K as you can see, but you can then crank that all the way up to 10 K, which is really, really a wide range for, for a lot of these lights. So let's go back to something, I don't know, three, two or something like that and apply that. Um, you can also change the intensity of it. So you can just, all I'm doing is moving my finger on that sort of white box and you can change the intensity of the light very, very easily. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, moving into the uh, gel side, Roscoe being a gel company, you can select a particular type of gel and it absolutely matches the colors. Bit difficult sometimes to see on this, on this output, but you can see as I'm changing the different gel types, the different colors appear and you can apply that and then you can adjust the saturation of that if you want it more saturated or less saturated. And you can also obviously change things like the intensity. So really, really quite powerful. And this is all done via Bluetooth. So that's pretty good. You can go to colors and now we've got blue set up, but then you've got a whole range of colors that you can go through. Absolutely no problems. So let's have a nice shade of red, perhaps. There we go. Again, you can't really see that particularly clearly on the uh, video, but believe me, that's uh, quite a powerful red and I'll crank the saturation up there as well. It's quite neat, the saturation slider going up and down like that. So that's pretty good. Now let's say I really like that color. I can click on the save there and I can say good red and choose a folder. I've set up a review folder, which I've put a few in and choose save. And then that will be available whenever I want to um, bring that color back. Um, very, very straightforwardly from the library. Effects, quite useful some of these. So if we uh, hit the play button 
and choose one, you'll get that sort of uh, police car, firelight, sort of flashing TV screen. Uh, Paparazzi is another quite quite funky one, isn't it? So that's quite quite interesting. Um, and source match allows you to match a particular type of colour as well. It just seems to work really well, this app. A lot of apps I've used, they sort of half work and half don't, and you don't use them very often. Uh, but this one seems to work 100%, so big tick for that. My preferred lights for the majority of my work are a set of dados and LED panels. So where exactly would this light fit in? Well, I can think of a few scenarios. The interior of a dark car, for example, just to lift uh, the, the interior. Um, or possibly a wash on the back of a, a white wall uh, as part of a corporate interview, perhaps uh, highlighting the client's colours, that, that type of thing. I can also see it being used as a top light. Now, this single kit also comes as part of a quad kit, which effectively consists of four separate lights, which can be attached to each other, forming a single light, all controllable from the same app. In fact, any configuration can be set up, so it's just feasible. You could do a three-point lighting setup using two as a key, a single for the fill, and another one for the backlight. All in all, pretty flexible. The single kit costs £219 plus VAT, and this might be an issue for some, as it does cost more than some of the competitors, like the uh, Pilot Fly Atom Cube, for example. For me, the range of accessories, the excellent build quality, and the Roscoe colour accuracy probably justifies the extra cost. The quad kit comes in at £990 plus VAT. For more information, take a look at dash.rosco.com. So, in conclusion, this is a great little light, and I think it'll find its way into a lot of lighting kits. But the million dollar question, would I buy one? I probably will.